What's up everybody? It's your boy Big Daddy Brian Thrifts. Today I got a banger for you. But let me start the video out with playing some Mega Man number one for the NES. Follow my journey and see what we found today. You ain't gonna wanna miss this. Welcome to Big Daddy Brian Thrifts today. Oh, you just caught me playing some Mega Man. Uh, something about this Mega Man, I gotta tell you. So, I came across a lot of games that was given to me from a friend of a friend. Uh, I know I'm a big collector of video games. And I'm about to show you what I got. There is some in-box video games in this lot. <laughs> And yeah, oh, it deals with Nintendo, of course. So you ain't wanna gonna miss this out, cause this is gonna be great. I got Mega Man playing right now, so there's gonna be some Mega Man in here. I hope y'all all right with that, okay? Let's get into this. What is up, everybody? So I replaced my beautiful SpongeBob TV, this pretty tote that holds treasure to my childhood. Yes, guys and gals, there is something in here that you're going to want to watch and see. A blast from the past. But before I show you, please go like and subscribe to my channel, Big Daddy Brian Thrifts. Uh, you'll see all kinds of useful content out there. Uh, How-to videos, you'll see me thrifting at Goodwills, Salvation Armies, Flea Markets, Pup Up Yard Sales, uh church community sales, whatever, I'll be there, you know, if there's a deal there, I'll go, and on Facebook Marketplace, so if you would, please take the time to go like and subscribe, let's get into this beautiful tote, shall we, yeah, all right, folks, here's the beautiful tote, let's see what's in there, mmm, look at that, ain't it pretty, mmm, and that's just the first layer. Can y'all see something in there, maybe? See something cool? I see a bunch of, oh, I see Lolo too. Ooh. Now that you've seen the layer of video games that's in here, let's break it down and see what's gonna be in here, okay? Let's do this. Ooh, Lolo too. Look at this, folks. Don't get much better than this. Look at this. If I can get it out. <laughs> Somebody put the game in there backwards. Okay. Low, low two. With the poster. The sleeve. And that manual, look at that manual, boys and girls. That is minty, beautiful. The inside of this mat booklet is very good. Look at this, Nintendo Power inside. Ooh, boys and girls. I don't know about y'all, but this is beautiful. All right, folks, Lolo 2. This game is on price charting. It is complete, which you've seen is an $83 game. Beautiful. I've done ordered some protection sleeves uh, from Retro Production. A lot of people like Metal Jesus Rocks talks about them and everything. So I was like, I got to invest these. These are going in my collection. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, Tetris complete, it looks like. Tetris is about, mm, about a 10 to $15 game, it looks like. Minty Fresh. Inside, the manual's still there. Look at that. Manual. Looks 
sleeve. Let's see what else is in here. The manual looks pretty good. Some bag. And of course, it's got the art with it. And the Nintendo Power. Look at that, guys and gals. I don't know about y'all, but whew, this is beautiful what I've got my hands on. Look at that. Don't even look like they've been played. These have probably been adult kept. Uh, I would say highly, I would say highly it was adult. So let's see what else we can find. How to win at Nintendo games. That's pretty cool. I might have to read this eventually. I uh, don't know how much value this is, but I didn't look it up. Let's see. Ooh, Super Mario 2 for NES. Box is just minty fresh. Look at that. Beautiful. Games in there. There's the little Nintendo brochure. Look at that. Neat little nostalgia, Nintendo power. Let's see about that. Ooh, look at that manual, folks. That thing is minty. Let's try to put it all back. Very, very nice in the Super Mario 2 for the NES. I'm very happy to have that in my collection. By the way, I do have some of these loose, but to have them in complete status, it looks like somebody just played this for a very little bit of time and just unwrapped it. That's what it looks like. There is nothing wrong with that box. It's in really good shape. Ooh, Super Pitfall. The manual's in there and the game's in there. This one looks like it's been played a little bit. Somebody paid $16.99 back in the day for this, but the box, box artwork is beautiful. Look at that, folks. It's cool. Look at that big cover on the front on Super Pitfall. That's cool. What else we can get in this box? Let's see what else we can get up in this box here. Ooh. Let's see. We got Mylan's Secret Castle. It's complete. The box is in pretty bad shape, but it's a Hudson Soft game. This game goes for about $35 in the condition it's in. Next up is Pipe Dream for the NES. This is minty fresh looking, never played it. Never heard of it until I seen it in that box. It's a $27 game. Complete. Burger time. The box is in pretty bad shape, but I'll take it. Burger time is worth 35 in that condition. It's got the manual in it too. Let's see what else we got in this box. Goodness gracious. Ah, got a big stack of them this time. So we got pinball for the NES. The manual and everything's in there, it looks like. This game complete goes for 30 bucks. Very beautiful artwork. I played this when I was a kid. Never had it in the box. I'm happy about that. Castle Quest. It's got the manual in there. The game looks really good. So this is a complete game. Castle Quest goes for about $43. In this shape right here. Beautiful artwork. Look at that. You got like a knight and then you got this like one guy with a little thing and there's a 
demon up there. That's pretty cool. I like that artwork. Legacy of the Wizard. Pretty good looking cover artwork again. Let's see. And it's got the manual in there and game as well. I'm very happy with that too. Legacy of the Wizard goes for 36 bucks on these are all price charting prices. too that's a bunch of inbox nes right there uh this game here x e x y z the space action adventure when i first seen this i thought it was sealed but it ain't i wish it was that's cool but you could tell somebody didn't play it as much and i'm pretty sure the manual's in this one too Yep, manual is in the box and artwork. This game goes for $37 in the shape it's in. So, so far, this is what NES games we got in box so far. Put them out of the way. Okay. See, we got Mega Man 3 complete in box. This Mega Man 3 goes for $90. It is complete. Manuel's in there, everything's in there. I was very happy to go with that, folks. There's a little bit of wear and tear on this box, you can tell. Right there, right there. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm very happy to have that in my collection. Let's see. Ooh, Dr. Mario. And it is complete in there. It's got the manual and everything. Uh, I got some cases I'm going to put these in at the end, folks, of the video. So, but... Show you the manual of that one. It's pretty. A little booklet. Something else in here. What is that? Nintendo Power. Okay. This one's been jammed up in there a little bit, but I'll straighten that out. And she'll be good to go back in the box. There's not a sleeve, but I got some sleeves I can put in there. So whoever played this last did not put the sleeve back on the game. There she goes. I'm going to put them in the box and make it look a lot better and protect these games because these are going to my personal collection i'm not selling them these were given to me and i really love this these games i mean up until now i only had two nes in box games now i got a bunch so these are beautiful and i'll keep them forever because they were given to me um they're just you know they're just so cool but we're not done folks we got Donkey Kong Classic. The box is kind of beat up a little bit. The manual's in there. But Donkey Kong Classic goes for $58. We got Mega Man 4. And it is complete as well as Mega Man 3 was. Mega Man 4, in this condition, goes for $170. Six bucks, folks. This is just beautiful. Look at that artwork on it. The box is minty fresh. So I'm going to put that over here with my Mega Man 3. Could there be more Mega Man? Who knows? <laughs> You'll have to wait. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, folks, look at this. This is friggin' sweet right here. This Mario game right here is in very good shape, Super Mario. This one right here without the duck hunt, complete in box, which this is, it's got the manual. I'll go ahead and bust that out. The game. Game looks very super clean. 
There's a game. Look at this, folks. The manual. Very, very good shape. We got this, a little map. And look at this Nintendo Power on the back. It's got Mario on it. Ain't that sweet? So this is definitely one I'm going to showcase on my shelf. I mean, that is freaking sweet. Because I got Super Mario 2 and Super Mario 1 right now. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we have got a very, very nice box of Mega Man, the original Mega Man. Look at them edges. There's no tears on it. The artwork's beautiful. Now this game, I looked it up on price chart and goes for $470. But, I've seen it go for a lot more than that, but look at this instruction manual. Beautiful. Just so pretty. It is complete. I'm not going to pull everything out, but it is in there, folks. Just take my word. And that's beautiful right there. This game on... Price chart and goes for $470 right now. Glad to have that. So I got Mega Man, Mega Man, Mega Man 3 and 4 complete. It's, ooh, look at here. So I got Super Mario 3 Bros. But this is not your ordinary Super Mario Bros. 3. See, on the, let's see, on my left hand side. Right here the bros is here this makes this game worth a lot more because the bros is somewhere in here usually on the other ones hold on one second okay just for instance if y'all didn't know this this is the super mario bros that ain't worth as much you see where on the right there on that side if you got bros, it's got bros on this side, it's worth a lot more. This game right here is worth, where is it? This game right here and the condition it's in with the manual and everything is worth $248 just because that bros is here instead of here. On this. So something to look out for folks. Know where your bros is at on your Super Mario 3. This one ain't worth as much. This one is. So, big, big thing to look for when you're looking for games, okay? This is beautiful as well. Look at how minty this thing is. Just beautiful. Alright, folks. We're done with the insult. Well, we got Pingo. And it's in a rough shape. This is for the Atari com home computer. This is about a $50 game. It's called Pingo. It's very sweet. I'm gonna have to put that in a protector box. That's really sweet. We got an NES complete for, it goes for about 50. What else? We got an Atari trackball. It goes for about 50. We got a Game Genie. That goes for about 20. Tetris 2, I think that's a $10. Simon's Quest, it's got the manual with it. That goes for about 30 with that condition. Wish it was in the box, but it's not. We got a Vader edition. Let's see what else we got. Let me show you this right here. If I can get down to it. Look at this, folks. This is an Atari 800XL. I've never had one of them. This thing goes for about 60 bucks. I haven't even tried it yet, but I can't wait to play it. It's really freaking sweet. So I'm going to put that in the collection as well. There you go, folks. And we're in my collection. Uh, they're very, very super nice. Like I said, I'm not selling these. These were given to me. So they're a gift. To me, 
there's no money to buy these because they're minty fresh. They got the manuals, as you can see. I did look up the value. The value of everything that I showed you today is worth $2,638. These are my childhood, pretty much. These take me back. To see them in this condition is unbelievable, folks. Uh, you know, if I came across a place and they had all these, I would, uh, you know, I'd definitely pay up for them. I'm just not, I'm telling you all the truth, but I'm happy to have these. These are going to be displayed in my game room on its own separate shelf. I only had two NES games. It was in box. I have Chippendales Rescue Rangers 2, and now I got all these to go with that. Um, I just can't believe it. Just, um... I'm happy as it can be to have these. And thank you very much for the person that gave these to me. Uh, like I said, these will not go up for sale or anything. So I'm very, very, very happy to have these in my collection. Uh, something to hold on to for the rest of my life. When I pass away, they'll be heading down to my son. So thank you for watching Big Daddy Brian Thrifts today. I hope you learned something about the value of these video games. I also hope you found some need in maybe getting protection screens. Might learn from that. Hope you've seen something you don't see every day on this video today. I mean, this is something you don't see every day. I mean, inbox NES games with the manuals in minty fresh condition. And it had the little posters and the manuals. I mean, folks, you can't hardly see that anywhere. So thank you all for tuning in to Big Daddy Brian Thrifts. I'm going to go play some video games. BDB out.